Here is a tour of the lifts at the Moor and Festival Place in Basingstoke. I wanted to do the Jordan lifts first, but sadly they're being modernised. Primark's lifts consist of Otis Gen 2s with Jumbo Dewhurst. Now to the main lifts of the mall. Normally I am extremely critical of LCD indicators in lifts, however it would have been really beneficial here. An LCD indicator works well if there is text describing what's on what floor. This lift does the same, however the cheapskates that modernise these express lifts decided to install two dot matrix indicators. One for floor number and one for what's on what floor. To add, they did this on the outside of the lift and the inside only has one indicator with text and no floor number. Cost cutting at its finest. Ah, uh, these lifts are quite busy. One of the lights is broken. See anyone? I am the most confused person in the world. Did, huh? Did I press the button? I think I might have. Almost certainly I pressed the button. Doors opening. There is a Boots here, but the lift is staff only for some strange reason. It is also the grottiest Boots I have ever been to. Now we enter a festival place and into new look. A rundown stunner with the Juha slap on mod? Okay. I love the physical bell on these.
It's interesting that they went for square dewhurst. I guess it looks similar. But then, this type of dewhurst is still being made. So why even bother? Replace with light. I believe this is H&M. It's a nice hydroware lift, and I presume it's a heavy mod of an Otis 2000 hydraulic. Lift going up. Is this, so this is a hydroware. I believe that means it's installed in 2021. First floor. First floor. Doors opening. Oh. Uh. Doors closing. What? This stuff is confusing. Lift going down. Okay. Floor zero. Doors opening. Yeah, I think it's tagged away. Maintaining a lift is hard, but what's even harder is the fact that I have to, that, that Harris has to survive. So Penguin, how are we going to get rid of her? Well Al, here's the thing, I called up someone. Hello, my name is Peculiar Penguin, from six years ago, someone named I'd like you to expose Harris Hempster as all possible mediums. We can absolutely do that. Hey Russell. Oh, yes? Expose High Rise Lift Services Company.com Limited on all possible mediums. I think we should end our contract with High Rise Lift Services. What? How did they get access to this information? <gasps> Sir Penguin, did everything go as planned? There's good news and bad news. The good news is that Hyros Hamster has lost a lot of money. The bad news is that we have also lost a lot of money. How'd that happen? High Rise Lift Services managed to expose us. But at the end of the day, most businesses are too obsessed with money to care about stuff like this. So we aren't going to go bankrupt anytime soon. Thank God. Now to Waterstones. It's yet another ace lift. How many ace lifts have I seen in Waterstones at this point? This one is in much worse condition compared to the others. Interestingly, there is a PHS hand sanitizer dispenser, but despite Waterstone's go-to hand dryer being the Epic Mega High Speed Blue Dryer Bum by Judge Young King Wee Electrical Company dot com Limited, or the Hand Dryer Blue Dry Fantastic. Place your bets on how many times I've seen this lift in Waterstones. <laughs> Gonna be. I'm correct. Doors closing. First floor. Doors opening. Oh. Now to River Island. The lift here is not your usual River Island lift. Doors closing. Pretty unusual for a River Island. Whoa! Yeah, refurbished you mean. Floor 1. 
Hi, Tag. Leaf going down. Leaf going down. Ground floor level. Yeah, something tells me this lift uses recycled parts. Floor zero. Doors opening. Now to the green car park lifts. These lifts have a custom voice for seemingly no reason. Otis 2000. Door closing. Not Otis 2000 voice. I just as normally have juice grow. They literally just added these announcements and just replaced the Otis files with these files. Because these are all the same messages, just a different person. Lower ground. Door opening. Now to next. It's your usual Nexus, but with a custom voice unit? Techno. Maintained by Foster and Cross, this looks identical to the Custom Voice Unit! Holy crap! Holy crap, that's a custom voice unit. Wow. Travel agent inside. Next, why? Ground floor. Wow. Please mind the doors. Doors opening. Now to the orange lifts. I get what no, is this the regular voice? Sounded like it, I don't know. Might be the custom one. Couldn't tell. This isn't normally lit up. Or is that just my ca No, it's not my camera. Yeah, it's the regular voice. Going down. Going down. but with extra lights, which is good. Oh, what floor do you want? Okay. Uh, what floor do you want? Oh. I'm fine. I'm fine. Now to TK Maxx. The lift here is an Otis Gen 2 with extremely fast doors. It's just your regular Gen 2. Oh, those doors are funny. Ram. 
Finally, to Marks and Spencers. Otis Gen 2s are a little underwhelming for a Marks and Spencers, especially in comparison to most Marks and Spencers, but I'm okay with it. Door closing. Okay, so toilets are on the third floor. Don't know what hand dryers are in there. Since dawn 2013. First floor. Doors opening. Going down. Doors closing. Basement. Speaker. Doors opening. That tiny little thing was causing this much noise. Going up. No, it's this. Doors closing. No, it is that. I don't know.